Good morning. Happy birthday to all Marines. November 10th, Marine Corps birthday. Some believe that the original flag to the Marine Corps was the Gadsden flag. And then when they came up with this emblem as a Marine Corps flag, but the original one was actually the Gadsden flag. So we're gonna go with that today. All right, today's pull workout. We're gonna do our normal pulls, but we're gonna do them super slow because super slow is just fantastic. And I'm feeling it throughout my whole body, completely feeling every move, especially when I slow down, you can really feel that. So we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get our pulls done. All right, some deadlifts, black band. I'm gonna start off with five good reps. Just get the blood flowing and get the feeling. Then we're just gonna slow it down and burn it out by the time we hit 20. really feel the back working hard on those last couple reps. Whew. Slow, slow. That's the way to go. Oh my God. Catch my breath. We're gonna do some bent rows. All right, bent rows. Got the light gray band, short bar. And I'm gonna try and have more steeper angle Instead of being 45 like I have been, I'm gonna try and a little bit more and just see if that actually engages more muscle. And I'm gonna do pronated over the top today. Of course, I'm gonna do five good quicker reps and then finish off with a super slow and see what we can get.
Oh my god. Like, really feel those muscles engaged. Almost, almost like they were cramping at the end. Whew. Once you slow down, man, it's so, so much more intense. You can feel every inch of that band and those muscles contracting. Whew. All right, catch our breath. And we got wide drag curls followed by the straight arm bicep raises. All right, drag curls, light gray band, wide grip. Just gonna five good reps and then just slow it down and feel every inch of that drag curl. That makes such a huge difference slowing down. You can feel the muscle contracting totally. You feel it working so hard to just pull that band. And you can actually keep your form really tight as you're just really just pulling up and holding that tension slowly down. Then you re-engage, it's right from the bottom. It's everything you have, all those muscles activating. Wow. Take a little break, set up. We're gonna do the straight arm bicep raises on the uh, plate because we're inside, we're not outside where the pole is. All right, back for straight arm bicep raises. I had to go help the little lady getting herself ready. So now I'm back for my next set and we'll listen up for another call to go give an assistance. Right now we're gonna get our straight arm bicep rises, really stretch, work on those tendons, that straight arm strength.
15, just working, rising those pits, your elbow pits, straight up and keeping that tension all there, keep that elbow locked, and really coming up, concentrate with your mind, keeping that bicep, and I'm telling you, whew, that really works, I can really feel it, really locking that elbow out, keeping that hyper hyperextension, and just raising that up, that tension is all in there, and I feel it working. All right, a little break. We're gonna set up for some calves. All right, I'm back. A little break. Had to help a little woman out. And uh, now I have assistance on my workouts. We're gonna finish off with some calves. Oh, 40. Oh, trying to go slow. Get kind of losing my balance a little bit. Whew. As you can, as you can see over here, <laughs> Molly, the big daddy cat, does not like the little baby cats. He's always hissing at them and swiping at them when they come around. Whew. All right, while I'm, while I'm cooling down, getting ready to do my mountain climbers, I'm just doing some straight arm planking started out with just here coming up and holding it leaning as far forward as I could keeping that straight arm straight solid do five or six like that and then now coming up doing a push up and holding it leaning as far forward as I can just holding the plank position and keeping all that tension ah and the in the biceps in that straight arm hyperextended spot. All right, baby girl. She was at the front begging to come in. She's always loving in the morning. She wants to be petted and she wants her stomach scratched and she'll pest you until she gets it. So I kind of go with my hands in close and I go with them out wide, just trying to work all those different angles. 
really worked on the wrist flexibility. And obviously I'm doing with my hands twisted back because I really want to extend that bicep. Trying to go as far forward as I can. Obviously, when you when you do the planche, you got to counterbalance. So I'm just working on getting that strength to be as far forward as I can. It takes a lot of core to do that. So slow process, consistency will win out in the end. And uh, I can't believe how much core strength that I've gained just from doing the X3. I was never able to do that just when I used to do any other exercises. But the overall core strength from just doing this these bands on a constant basis has just really strengthened my core insanely. If I could just uh, get the rest of this off, and that's all just discipline for me right now. I'm eating really good. I guess just uh, after dinner, still uh, still snacking a little bit on uh, sweet things. Just need to really cut that out, and I know I'd start losing a lot faster. And I'm cutting that snacking down even more. <sighs> all right, so. Let's uh, restart this and let's get our mountain climbers done. All right, ready to go. I use the clock on the camera as my timer. I don't know, maybe they're getting easier, but I push it harder every time. Maybe I'd be able to take the shirt off again in a week and a half because I'm just sweating bullets right now. Easier, obviously, with your hands forward in that position. Your hands turn back. A lot more core is involved because your, your arms in a hyperextended position. So I like that. It challenges more core. And go wider this time. I'm gonna do some stretching here with my, my wrist and then we'll do a recap. 
All right, we're all done. Today's workout was brought to you by United States Marine Corps, Oorah, birthday today. And also my new passion, I've been thinking about it for quite a while and decided to finally just do it and go for it and see what we get. It's called $5 Kindness. I have a YouTube page called $5 Kindness and a TikTok page called $5 Kindness and uh, a cash app and all I'm asking for a donation of each person that visits is $5, $1, whatever you want to donate, uh, whatever we can to build a pot to $1,000. When we get that $1,000, we're going to go out and I'm going to give it to my wife and I'm going to video her and her scooter finding people who need some kindness in her life and she's going to go up and she's going to talk to them because she is a wonderful person and doing stuff like that. And I am learning to be a better person like that after uh, 25 years of uh, the profession that I was in. I'm trying to turn that leaf over and be a lot more kind. Not that I'm not kind, I have a big kind heart. It's just hard to kind of do that after what I was in, after obviously uh, the type of trauma that I dealt with for all those years. So this is my way of therapy of myself, is giving, giving. And uh, not that I have a ton of money, I will be throwing some of my own money into the pot. Maybe building a pot beginning myself here real soon just to go out and do it. But anyway, so today's workout, uh, slow. Slow is the key, slow is actually it. Um, I'm glad I spent the first year of doing a two second, three second rep and building my strength up, building my muscle density up and understanding what it's like because now I can feel those muscles actually really working hard. Being able to get 20 reps at that slow pace, 15 reps, five reps, kind of a little bit faster and then 15 afterwards. And I'm only doing the five in the beginning just to kind of get some blood pumping into the muscle, get the feel for the move down, and then you just slow it down and you just rep out those slow reps and you just burn it till it, till it burns down. It feels awesome. I'm telling you, it's, if you're not going slow, go slower. Um, deadlifts were freaking point on. Man, those things were just phenomenal. I felt great the whole time doing those. I want to get 40 slow, slow reps with the black band. If I can get 40 slow reps with the black band, then I think I can jump up to that yellow band and start hand, handling that yellow band a little bit better. Same thing with the push when I do the when I do the uh, chest press with the black band. If I can get 40, 40 slow chest press with that uh, black band, then I think I can jump over to that yellow band and get a little bit more than what I have been getting lately. It's usually down here in the bottom where I'm losing that, that chest press as I'm losing the strength down here. I'm good out here, but this is obviously the, the strength arc is down here at the bottom. Uh, bet rows were freaking phenomenal, man. Just bending over a little bit farther and uh, really actually feeling it throughout my whole back and keeping my back tense the whole time. My arms didn't go down as far as I would like to get a big stretch, but I kept the tension in the in the lats and in the, uh, the middle of the back and it just burned like crazy. And that was with the light gray band. And I did them pronated over the top, so that was a big burn. So we'll see what the, see what it does tomorrow when I, or Saturday when I do bet rows with the, uh, with the pronated excuse me, with the supinated grip, we'll see how that feels. Um, biceps, man, that white grip, like I said, I'm trying to each week, my, or each three exercises, three weeks during the week, I wanna change my grip up for biceps. First day was close, this day is wide, and then the last day I'm gonna do hammers, but every one of them is gonna be followed up by those bicep raises, and just keeping that hyperextension, and just using that bicep, keeping that bicep locked, keeping that tension tight, and just raising that bicep up, and man, you start feeling that tension just really intense. Calves, calves were kind of strange because I was staring at the wall and I usually stare at something far away to keep my balance. So staring at that wall kind of threw my balance off a little bit. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll just stare out the, out the door next time or maybe we'll go outside. But right now I'm working out inside because uh, little wife wants to get up and uh, she wants to get going. So I need to be available to uh, assist in between my exercises. So sometimes when she's calling, I gotta go in and, and help her out. So. I finished it up, she's finishing up. We're going to uh, go out and do some things today. Um, I don't know, whatever she wants to do. I'm just uh, the chauffeur and I just take her around and that's what we do. And then uh, in the meantime, I try and get onto my social media and pump some stuff like that and think of more wonderful things that I wanna do. Um, so this $5 kindness is a real thing. Thank you to all the people that have donated so far. I've got a little bit of, a little bit more donations lately. Um, not, obviously not anywhere I wanna be, but I'm building this from the, from the, back, from the ground up. So, um, Thank you, like, subscribe, build that following. What I would like to do is obviously build the following on um, 
YouTube because YouTube is where you get monetized. That's where you could actually make the money on the monetization. And then all of the donations would be what I was giving away. And then if the monetization actually gets even bigger, then I could give away more money. That's the whole whole plan is to give, to give that away and make people happy. That's what I want to do. Um, kindness. Kindness is, man, kindness cures the heart. And, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously it's really tough after what I did for, uh, for so long. And I, I tried to use this kindness as much as I could. Um, but in that type of environment that I was in, uh, kindness is looked at as a weakness. So you have to kind of balance that out um, on dealing with that. A lot of times I dealt with uh, uh, people that were in the hospital um, in, obviously, as I, as I was uh, guarding them in the hospital. And a lot of times it's a little bit different situation when you're in the hospital of, of being a little bit kinder because you know they're in a situation um, that needs a little bit of kindness and they don't have their family members there to, uh, to help them out with whatever situation they're dealing with. So that was a, a good, good way of kindness. I remember there was one time I was actually sitting on a uh, young female and uh, I worked at a male place and we were just covering her and she was like 20 and she totally reminded me of my daughter and she had uh, some serious medical conditions and I'm just sitting there doing my professional job of uh, supervising and I can just see what she's going through, not having a uh, parent, anybody there to uh, assist her. So when the, the medical staff would come in, they would be asking questions and you know, you, you, I would kind of give her some little guidance on questions and answering stuff because she was kind of confused, she was lonely uh, and it was, a, it was a medical condition. It wasn't something that happened uh, while she was uh, back at her joint. It was uh, just a medical condition that uh, that probably her parents would have been right by her side holding her hand, but because she was there, they couldn't do that. So whenever I was uh, supervising, um, I always tried to give her as much kindness as I could, and I did that with all of all of the other inmates, except for the ones who were just uh, POSs, and they they deserved <laughs> what they got because they put themselves in those situations. Um, but even showing kindness to, in those situations was uh, a detriment to you. So to the ones that deserved it, they got it. So that's just one of the stories. But I just want to thank everybody for, for subscribing and watching uh, my, my workouts, my videos. Hopefully when I take this off in a, in a couple weeks, we'll see if there's any growth, if there's any definition, if there's anything. That's the whole plan of why I'm going undercover. I want to see if, what, what shows up in the next, uh, next week and a half. What's up, buddy? Yeah. So as, I, as you can see, I got my Halloween stuff down. It's all on the porch right here. It's dried out. So hopefully sometime today I can box this stuff up and get it put back away. Uh, Big Molly, king of the house. He was started out such a little tiny thing too. He was like barely in the size of my hand. And he's such a big, big guy now. He's a love ball too. Man, when he lays down with you, he wants to curl around your head and he wants to headbutt you. <laughs> and yes, we are, we are cats and we like dogs. We love dogs too, we just don't have any. My wife just can't deal with that. And cats are basically self-sufficient. So we're able to leave the house and go do stuff and leave the, the cats alone. Um, if we could have a dog, I would have one, um, but cats are what we have. So I said, when we're off doing our camping, we're off doing stuff, we can leave the cats here and we can have somebody come by and feed them and they're just doing fine. And uh, like I said before, all I had was this one and another older one who I passed on, but now we have the, uh, the little pride of little lions running around right now, trying to get those some homes for those couple that I want to keep and get some homes for the other ones. That's what we're looking for. So I've taught, rambled on enough. This is going to be a long video. If you stuck with me this far and you listened to me rambling on, thank you. And uh, we'll be back for uh, tomorrow for pushes. Super slow, burning it out. Man, I can't wait to get those super slow pushes out. I got it done. I'm going to go live my life. And I will see you back tomorrow on the push day.